All right, what's going on, good people? It's Voodoo Five Twelve Ninety Two here. Welcome to night number four of the Room Renovation Twenty Fourteen. Um, this video will probably be a little bit shorter than most of the videos because uh, there's really not a whole lot new to show you. Um, basically, what I'm showing you now is the result of uh, putting a second coat of paint up. <coughs> excuse me, on the wall today. And as I, as I promised last night when I showed you what, what it looked like, um, after the second coat has been applied, you can tell the paint looks immaculate compared to what it looked like yesterday. You can see all the color is uniform. Actually, my dad went ahead and did the, the dark color today. I did most of it yesterday. Um, he did it today because he he really knows how to do it well. Um, he's been you know he's painted a lot a lot uh, in his years, and so he he wanted to get after it and make sure that uh, that it was all even. And um, he did a remarkable job of that because uh, as you can tell, the paint the bottom paint here looks fantastic, and this was the paint that. Uh, and of course, didn't look didn't look very good at all yesterday. It was all different colors, different shades, um, but all over the place now it is completely uniform in color. Uh, he went over it with a with a brush and put sort of a light a light coating on all the places that that didn't look very good um, to sort of smooth it out. And then he came uh, came back and did another uh, another coat with the roller, and it looks really really good. And up top here, this. Um, the seafoam color, uh, I know it, it, it's hard to tell a difference. Maybe you can on camera. I don't know. I look, we got a uh, got a gecko on my window. Check that out, a little gecko. Um, anyway, it might be kind of hard to tell the difference today because I know it probably wasn't picked up yesterday on camera. But um, but as I mentioned last night, you could definitely tell that the old pink color was still showing through. Uh, the wall through this color. Uh, well, we, we did a second coat of this top paint as well today and uh, on everything, walls and ceiling, and uh, it completely covered up all the pink. You can't see the pink anymore. So, ladies and gentlemen, the painting is done, officially. Uh, we might walk around and, and do a little touch-up work here and there over the next couple of days if we see little areas that need it. I can tell you there's a little area right here Maybe you can see that on the uh, on the camera. This little area here that's a little white. This thing you're seeing right here is actually a crease. It's not a um, that's not a paint uh, malfunction. That's where actually the border sort of tore yesterday um, or a couple days ago. So that's not a painting imperfection. That's on the wall. So can't do anything about that. But you know, there's a couple couple places here and there where we might, you know, see, hey, maybe we need a little bit more paint here or there, but overall, um, I think it looks really, really good. And so we're done painting. So this is what it's gonna look like, the final product as far as paint goes. So the only thing we have left to do, obviously, for to complete the whole look of the room is to do the chair rail. That goes right across where the two colors are to make it look really nice and have a good transition between the colors. And that is no easy, just, you know, quick fix and you're done. Uh, it's something that takes a lot of time. Of course, you have to buy enough of the stuff to, to last. You have to perfectly cut and measure each piece as you go. And sometimes, you know, on longer walls like this, one piece won't be long enough. So you're going to have to, uh, to cut a, you know, you're going to have to put two ends together and make it look nice in the corners. You have to cut the pieces on like an angle so that they meet really nicely in the corner there. Um, so it's a lot of work and my dad's never done it. I've obviously never done it. And so we're probably gonna have to wait to put the chair rail up for another week um, till next weekend when, you know, he's not working and uh, we have time to, to have another weekend to basically tackle that. So I can't completely move back in to the room and bring all my furniture back and everything until another week until we get that chair rail done. Uh, however, I can move back in the room and start sleeping in the room 
uh, and you know, back living in the room starting uh, tomorrow night. I can't do it again tonight because still we put more paint on today and there's still some paint fumes that need to, you know, aerate out of the room. But um, starting tomorrow night, I'm gonna move back and start sleeping in my bed again. And all I'm gonna bring back is my TV. My TV's gonna go right there. Um, I don't know if we're gonna move the actual TV stand back in. I guess maybe we could. It's not that hard to move it back out when we're ready for the chair rail. So we'll probably move the TV stand and we'll put the TV back tomorrow. And that's all that I'm bringing in here. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna worry about my computer setup or anything like that over there. We have to bring all the desks back, hook up all the wires and everything, just so that in another week we'd have to take it all down again. So I'm not gonna do that. There's no point. I just want the TV in here so I can watch it when I'm here, obviously. And um, you know, I leave the TV on at night when I go to sleep. So that's it. So that's happening tomorrow, and uh, I'm, I need to wash the sheets are on this bed or put new sheets on it because it's got you know debris on it. it's got dirt and stuff on it from from painting and moving stuff obviously I have to clean it off it's got all kinds of stuff on here like my monitor it's got the the cover for the light that's up here and uh, and other stuff like that so I need to clean the bed off tomorrow when I get home from orientation and put clean sheets on the bed and then I can start sleeping in the bed again I guess I'll just leave it where it is right in the middle of the room and uh, set my TV up, so at least I've got that. And um, over, I think one day this week, I think on Thursday, my mom and I are gonna go down the hall to where I have all my, all my stuff laid out and stored for the time being, all those trophies and everything. And we're gonna start packing it up. We're gonna get some boxes and some wrapping stuff, and we're gonna start picking through it, decide what's coming back to decorate the room, what is not. I pretty much already know, I don't really have to decide. Um, I, I pretty much know what's coming back and what isn't. We just have to actually go through and wrap it all up and uh, store it away. And if anything needs to be thrown away, we need to do that as well. And uh, we'll get all that taken care of so that, you know, after next weekend when the chair rail is in, I can then uh, move everything back in. Um, because of course, you know, the week after this one upcoming is the first my first official week of school, and it's when we get back to doing gameplay. We've got the brand new Dark Souls 2 DLC coming out that Tuesday, and I want to be back in, set up, ready to go, ready to stream and record on release day the Dark Souls 2 DLC. And uh, not necessarily have the whole room decorated by then, but at least have my TV, my consoles, and my computer setup done. And, uh, you know, have my furniture. I like to get my furniture in. And then uh, over the course of next week and the weeks following, we'll be redecorating, getting uh, frames for those posters and hanging them back up, hanging pictures, hanging the stuff that need, you know, putting these shelves back up on the wall and, and uh, hanging all the other stuff um, that we need to do. That will happen over the course of the next, you know, not this upcoming week, but the week after. Once the chair rail is in and the room is ready to be moved back into, then uh, then we can start doing all that. Uh, again, finding a bookcase to replace this rack. It's gonna go back up in the alcove there. Um, so all that will be occurring over the next few weeks and only when that is done and I feel that I'm done basically redecorating and everything's on my walls, it's gonna be there and we've got the bookcase and everything is picked up and looks nice and neat, only then am I going to do the final video in this series and uh, and that will be the official final room tour of how my room officially looks, redecorated and um, completely moved back in and ready to go. So that could that's still you know at least a couple of weeks away, if not more. So I wouldn't be anticipating that for a little while. Um, hope you don't mind my just random pacing around the room, just you know showing you the whole room while I talk. Um, but this is it, guys. So you know. It's actually about uh, 10.45 right now, I think, at night, and I gotta go take a shower, and I have to at least try to go to sleep because I have to be up at around uh, 6.15 tomorrow morning for my first day of uh, orientation for graduate school. And that's going all the way until four o'clock in the afternoon, and then Tuesday I get to do it all over again. And then I get the rest of the week off until uh, school actually begins the following week. So, um, yeah, this is a final look at the paint. It's done. I think it looks great. 
personally, uh, this, this light blue here on the top, I love it. I, I, I gotta be honest with you, I love it. I love this dark color a lot more now that it's dry and it's actually consistent. You know, it, it's tough when, when it's on there how it was last night and it, it's all different shades of color and it's really kind of hard to get a feel for do I like it, do I not like it, because it looks bad. Um, but now that it's smooth and it's dried on the wall, I think it looks great. I think the two colors really look good together and once we get that, get that rail in, that it's gonna be white so it's gonna match everything, the baseboards and the windowsill and the doors. I think the white actually goes with this well too. I think the white doors and everything really look nice. Um, once that once that's installed next week, it's really, really gonna look good. It's, uh, it's gonna have that nice accent all over the walls and obviously you won't see this jagged, these jagged lines anymore, this harsh transition. It'll be really nice and smooth. It'll be a polished look, it'll look great. And uh, this is a room that I'm proud of. I'm proud to live in it. You know, um, it's a room I can come home every day and really enjoy being in. Um, like I said, especially with this light blue color, it, I absolutely love it. I'm so glad I went with it. And you know, it's cool to say, it's a room that I basically designed myself now, the first time ever. You know, I picked the colors. Um, I did a lot in terms of painting and cleaning and doing all that. And, um, I get to actually redecorate it my way, you know, only display what I want and and um, it's going to look really, really, really good when it's finally done and finally come together. So um, you probably won't be seeing this week uh, nightly vlogs anymore. Um, maybe I'll do one tomorrow night, but then for a few days I probably won't do any because nothing's going to change in the room. Um, I might do one tomorrow just simply because I'm going to move back into the room. but. Um, but nothing, nothing's really going to change until we do the chair rail. And then once we do that, I'll be shooting an update of that. And, and obviously, I'll only be shooting updates when we actually do something. And uh, this video actually did run as long as the other ones because I just like to talk. I like to ramble <laughs> and just give you guys an idea of what's going on, even though I've repeated, you know, I know I, I've repeated the same stuff I've said a billion times again. But um, so I'll, I'll go ahead and cut it. So, um, so I don't ramble on too long. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. You can see that in, uh, just in four days, we've completely changed this room, completely given it a makeover, a whole new look, um, you know, a new chapter in the life of the room to go with a new chapter of my life that starts tomorrow with orientation. Um, looks great, looks fantastic. I'm excited about it. And uh, I'm proud to have worked on it and picked these colors and. And it was fun to do with my dad, you know? It was a lot of fun. So, thanks a lot, guys. Uh, if you're watching this relatively recently to the time I'm uploading it, I'm actually gonna go shoot the weekly ritual right now. And uh, so don't don't miss that, because I'll be explaining what's going on this week, which is not much. Um, it's gonna be more of a recap than anything else. And um, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys once again for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm Voodoo, and uh, I'll see you again real soon. Peace.